I dream about bike polo. I usually run plays in my head. I can imagine even if a mallet's not in my hand, um, my brain is going through the motions and doing that trick shot or, uh, or you know, that lob pass. One of the grandfather originators, James McCready, back in 1908, got it down for the um, Olympics as a demo sport to see if it would be picked up. You were either playing horse polo and you were practicing, so you'd use your bike, or maybe you were poor and you didn't own a horse. And uh, it didn't exactly get picked up, but 90 years later in 1998, it's when it started up in Seattle as a hard court version. Definitely an urban version of grass polo, you know? We tear up tennis courts and hockey rinks and sometimes just parking lots. We set up some boards, all you need are four cones and at least six people. The game starts when you're behind your cone on your side of the court. Somebody shouts three, two, one, polo. Three, two, one, And polo. you joust for the ball. The ball's right in the center. Ah! Ah! Everything about it is organized by the players themselves. You got other sports like soccer and basketball that have been going on for years, and the committee who make the rules, like you don't even know them, but this is a democratic style sport where we get to figure out the evolution of rules together. Everything down to the mallets, down to the wheel covers, the block the shots. You know, people have the different style of bikes that they get comfortable using, and so you start to discover different style bikes while you ride. It's a DIY style thing, do it yourself. Polo players got a lot of positivity towards each other. We're all doing the same thing. It's, uh, it's fulfilling, you know? With a new sport, a new budding sport like this, the sky's the limit. My name's Donnie Pepper, and I play bike polo.